Right, back with another video. Now, um, what's this video about? This video is about this little button here. Volkswagen's stop start system. Pain in the ass. Absolute pain in the ass that button. Um, if you have that button, you probably hate it. Now that button is there to when you pull up to a set of traffic lights, go into neutral, take your foot off the clutch, engine cuts out, put your foot back on the clutch, engine restarts. Now this system is there's there's lots of reasons why it's in place, but one of them is to cut down on emissions. And it's been proven that to cut down on emissions, use less fuel, you would have to be sat at a set of traffic lights or stationary for more than 12 seconds. Because the amount of fuel that is needed to restart the engine is the same amount of fuel you would use in those 12 seconds. So we're going to talk a little bit about this button. But before we do that, I uh, I have a boot full, uh, full, I have several of the Enon units in my boot. Um. <clears throat> so, I've got a VW A12, a VW A13, a P4 unit, and Enon are also supplying me with another P3 unit uh, for me to give away. I'm not giving away all of those units. Um, I will be giving away the VW A12 and the Enon P3 to my subscribers. When I hit 3,500 subscribers, I will do a little competition UK entrance only, unfortunately. Um, so if you're a returning viewer and you're not subscribed, the only way you're going to be in with a chance to win either the VW A12 or the Enon P3 is to be subscribed. It's easy as that. All you got to do, tap subscribe. Um, and then I'll come up with a competition when I get to 3,500 subscribers. Right, back to the story in hand. So the stop start button. If you've got a stop start button in your car and your battery goes flat, has been disconnected for more than 10 minutes, or you've changed your battery for a new battery, it will need coding to the battery management system in the car. If you don't code it to your battery management system, there will be little things in the car that aren't quite right. Um, these are very sensitive to voltage drop. And some people say, oh, you don't need to code it. You don't need to code it. You do need to code it. There will be something little. You might not notice at first what the issue is. It could be, well, for one, the stop start system will stop working when you take your foot off the clutch, which isn't a bad thing because nobody likes the stop start button. But it will be affecting your battery because basically what the battery management system does, from my understanding, is it puts the charge into the battery. If that battery is fully charged, it will stop putting a charge into that battery to maintain the health of the battery itself. If you haven't got a stop start button and you've got a standard battery in your car the alternator is constantly putting power into it so the battery's full and it's still trying to put charge in so the stop start system battery management system regulates what voltage is going into your battery to keep it at its best health now some of you may remember a little while ago my car went to a mechanic to have the clutch uh, slave and master cylinder sorted. He disconnected my battery and also made a mess under the bonnet, which I still haven't sorted out. Um, but he disconnected my battery and I said to him, did you code the battery back to the car? 
Yes, I've coded your battery back to the car. Shouldn't have trusted him, should I? Not the way it was. Now, I have Carista in my car. Um, for going to, the issue that I had with my car was, let's just spin you around. I'd be driving along and my needle would be sitting about nine, 9.50 um, revs. Not all the time, just occasionally it would sit there and I'd be like, well, I haven't got a DPF, so it's not doing a regen and a regen sits about the same place. In fact, actually no, sorry, it wasn't 9.50 revs. It was just above a thousand. DPF regen is just below. If you're running your heaters and uh, the ambient temperature is below four degrees, you're not up to temperature, it will also sit about where it wants to do a regen. Whereas mine was sitting just slightly above up here. And I was like, well, he says he's coded my battery, but is it because the battery's not coded, it thinks that the battery's going flat or it needs more putting into it. So it's raising the revs to try and get more power into the, into the battery. So I decided to fire up Carista, which I'm going to do now and I'll talk you through it. Right, before we look at Carista, we just need to go round under the bonnet. So pop your bonnet, round you come. You wanna have a look at your battery. You wanna get a pen and a piece of paper. And then under here, you want your battery type, the brand, and you want the serial number. And this is the serial number here on mine. So you wanna make a note of those. This is for this system just here. It's, it's a mess under here. I need to get it all cleaned up. So you need that serial number and the brand of the battery. Fight with that to put it back in place. It's all, it's, oh, it still does my head in. So once you've made a note of those, which I have got written down here, so that's the serial number. The 10 digits are the serial number, part of the serial number you need. You don't need the first, it's the last 10 digits. Then you fire up Carista. I'll leave a link. Obviously you, you can do this on your phone. I have it on my head unit. I will leave a link for Carista in, uh, in the video description. I will also leave a link for this VW A12S 6G head unit in the description. So you come on here, go to service. Just let that load up a second, it will take a moment. Right, so that's loaded up. And on here, obviously, you've got your reset service intervals, DPF regen, which I've covered before. And then here, battery regulation, registration even. So you tap on that. So you need your capacity of the battery. Forgot about that bit, yeah, 68. The brand of your battery, which you can change in there. And then your serial number. Now, if you don't have a serial number on the battery, you can just put in nine ones and a two. If you've already got nine ones and a two already there, you wanna change that to a three. But I do have the full code. So let's just delete this back. And it is two, four, oh, nine, one nine J zero G B. Okay, so that's the serial number in the battery brand and the capacity, and then I just hit save. And that is now saved to the battery management system. So, a, st a standard battery, Halfords can code this for you. I'm using Halfords as an example. I hate Halfords, charge too much for things. But let's just talk about their battery. So, if you've got a non stop start system in your car, 
and you want an 096 battery, so a standard battery, it's £95 and they come with a three year warranty. If you need a stop start battery, it's £180, but it comes with a five year warranty. Now the warranty is bigger, obviously, because you've got the stop start system in your car. It's regulating the battery. That battery should last at least five years as opposed to lasting at least three years. So that it's as easy as that to code a battery to your car system using Carista. Yeah, you can go to a mechanic, Halfords, etc. But they are going to charge you for this to do it. So obviously I changed my battery type. It, 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 in mine, it was set up uh, JCB and there was no serial number. So that's what was causing my issues. I've changed the battery type and I changed the serial number. My revs are now sitting where they should be. It's not trying to overcharge the battery or anything like that. So that is how simple, how easy it is just to code a battery. It's not difficult. It's it's actually easier than changing the battery itself and changing a battery isn't difficult. So if any of you want more information on battery coding and stuff, I hope I've covered it all in this video. It's as simple as that. Volkswagens, Audis, BMWs have this system and it's a pain in the ass. Yes, you can get it coded out, but it will shorten the life of your battery. Um, you can get like little piggyback things that you put behind the button and again it will code it out of the system but it will shorten the life of your battery considerably so that's just a quick bit my input on stop start systems in these cars and uh yeah so giveaway when i get to 3500 subscribers Maybe that I have got an end on video lined up that I've had recorded since the end of January, but I cannot release it yet. I'm waiting on permission to release it. Very interesting video. Um, so yeah, links in description for Carista, links in the description for the VWA 12 6G head unit. Um, I try and answer all your comments as soon as I can, um, and help you guys out. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.